If you live in a rural area, you may not be connected to a public wastewater system. The wastewater you produce, from sinks and toilets and washing machines, must be dealt with closer to home. On-site residential wastewater treatment typically falls into two categories, a septic tank with a drain filled or leach filled, or a septic tank with a lagoon. Lagoons are ponds or basins of water which hold and treat wastewater. Lagoons are used with septic tanks when the soil is impermeable and won't allow water to drain. In some cases, wastewater from a house may flow directly to a lagoon without stopping at a septic tank for the initial processing of solids. Lagoons for individual homes are soil and geography specific. So how does a lagoon treat wastewater? Wastewater flows from the home into an open pond. Lagoons are typically about three to five feet deep and surrounded by a levee or berm to keep out runoff and to prevent the lagoon from leaking or overflowing. They are usually lined to prevent water from seeping into the ground. The process of treating the harmful bacteria in the water consists of helpful bacteria breaking down contaminants like nitrogen or phosphorus. Bacteria in the aerobic zone near the lagoon surface digest waste that is less concentrated. This bacteria uses oxygen to convert harmful compounds to carbon dioxide and treated water. Sunlight helps algae grow in the lagoon which produces oxygen to support the bacteria that breaks down the waste. Bacteria, which operate at the lower levels of the pond in the anaerobic zone, consume organic material, which the bacteria convert into methane along with carbon dioxide. Both zones of treatment working together are important to treat the water more efficiently and effectively. Lagoons are an effective measure for treating wastewater used for communities and private homes alike. For more water and wastewater educational content, subscribe.